yo, we're going to make a real simple bracket in Fusion 360 in today's video. Um, this is just for beginners and starting out makers. We'll dimension the bracket in a way that you can resize it to fit your needs, and then we'll go over exporting it for 3D printing. So uh, let's get into it. Okay, so we're in the design workspace in Fusion 360, and we've just got a fresh part here. So the first thing we need to do is create the side profile of our bracket. So let's go create sketch and just choose either of these two planes here. We're going to go with the front plane. And then we're going to create a line like this and then right click and click OK. And then go back, left click line and make another line down here and then right click and OK. So now we've got two lines. We're going to go and create a sketch dimension off this line. And let's make it 25 millimeters. And then press escape to get out of dimension. And now what we want to do is click this line and control click this line. And then go up to your constraints and make them equal. So now we have two 25 millimeter lines, and if we change this one, the other one changes. Okay, so control click both of those lines and go up to this offset tool. And now you can make the L shape of the bracket. And the distance that you select this offset to be is going to be the thickness of the bracket. So I'm going to make it 3.5 millimeters. And then let's create another line connecting these two dots and connecting these two. And now this shaded area tells us that we have a closed profile. So we can zoom out and finish sketch. And then what we can do is in our solid menu, click extrude. And in this extrude menu, change your extrusion to symmetric. And now you've got a bracket dead center in your workspace. So for the thickness, I think 15 millimeters is good enough. And remember that's 15 in both directions, so 30 overall. Now, what I want to do is create a little gusset that supports the middle of this L bracket. So if we drop down our origin tab and we click this XZ plane, or just try till you find the plane that's in the middle here. See this plane's in the middle of the part? That's where I want the sketch to be. So with that selected, create sketch. And now we can draw in the middle of our part. So we're going to press P on the keyboard for project geometry. You should see this up. And we want to project these two planes, which will give us these two purple reference lines. So make sure you have those. And then to create our gusset, we're going to make a line here. And right click and click OK. And then we're going to make another line here. Right and right click and click OK. So now we've got two lines. Make sure that they are vertical and horizontal. If they're not, you need to click the line and then you need to click this button. And you're going to see I already have it. OK, so let's click both of these lines. Control click both of them and make them equal. Right click and OK. So now they are the same. And then we're going to sketch dimension, just dimension one of them to, let's say, four millimeters. And then if you right click and go cancel, you can get rid of the dimension on your mouse. So now we've got them both constrained to four. Let's make another line connecting the two. And now we've got this shaded closed profile. And then we are going to finish this sketch and extrude this. And once again, we're going to go symmetric. If 
but this time we don't want the dimension telling us what half is. You see that? It's half. We want the whole length, which is here. Now we can make the whole length 3.5, and then our bracket's the same thickness all the way around. So if you've got that, the next thing we're going to do is make holes to put bolts through. So we've got our bracket, and we want holes. So let's click on this plane and create a sketch. Now P for project geometry, make sure the menu comes up. Click these two planes and go OK. Now you can see we've got two closed profiles. Let's make a line. And this is very important. Start the line where the triangle shows up. You see that triangle? No triangle, triangle. That's the midpoint. If you connect the midpoint to midpoint, and another line here, midpoint to midpoint, and then right click and OK. Now that we've got that, we're going to create a point. And our point's going to be on the midpoint of this line. Actually, hmm, do we want it there? Let's make it a little bit higher, actually. Let's make a point here and a point here. Dimension the first point off of the top line, 10 millimeters, and then click this point and control click this point. So they're both selected and then select horizontal. Now you have locked those two points in place. So we can finish our sketch and we can create a hole. Selecting both points and then have a look at your hole menu. You want the whole distance to be through all of the material. And then a simple hole, but clearance. And what clearance does is it lets you pick the type of bolt. So if you're going to do a metric socket head M4 and a clearance hole, then Fusion will do everything for you and you can just use that bolt. So let's do the same thing at the bottom. Create another sketch. P for project geometry. Grab those two. Create a line from the midpoint, midpoint, to the other midpoint, midpoint to midpoint, right click and click OK. And then let's put points in the middle. And in the middle, actually, let's undo that. Undo, undo. Create a point just on the line anywhere. Make sure when you drag the point, it stays on the line. It is constrained to the line. Then dimension this to 10. Select both of your holes using control. Horizontal them. Finish sketch. And then create another hole, selecting both points and setting the distance to through all. And there we go. Now you have a bracket that you can mount to things. But it doesn't look very good, does it? So let's create some fillets. The first edges we want to fillet are the outside. Oops. Let's press escape because I messed it up. Fillet this edge, this edge, this edge, and this. Ooh. If you accidentally select something, you can control click it to get rid of it and make those five millimeters. Then another fillet on these inside edges. At two millimeters. And then finally, a third fillet on these edges here at let's say eight. Mm, six. 
six millimeters. And then to really clean this up, we can go modify chamfer and select this round edge here, this one here, and at the back, these edges. And let's make that half a millimeter. And then just so you don't have any issues 3D printing, you can also chamfer these holes by selecting the entire hole surface and making that 0.25 millimeters. And there you go, guys. This is the bracket. So I'm going to save it as bracket and then export the STL. So to do that, we can click here on our left menu, right click on the bracket, save as STL, refinement high, format binary, press OK, and then save it to your folder. And next, we will open it in Prusa Slicer and just show you how it prints. Okay, now we are in Prusa Slicer. We have a clean bed with nothing on it. So let's bring up the folder where you saved your STL. And then you can just drag your STL into Prusa Slicer. And here is the bracket we created. Now, if it comes in at a weird orientation, all you have to do is click on this button here, place on face. And what place on face lets you do is select any flat plane for your part. So I'm happy right like this. I can just click off. And now nothing is selected. And with all your settings, I'm using filaments.captg. And I've got my standard profile and my printer. I'm going to click slice now. And here's our part. So in 52 minutes and at a cost of 20 cents, I can have this bracket printed. Now, if we want a bunch more of them, we can go down. Oh, my head's in the way. But at the bottom left, you can change back into editor view. You can click your part and you can add one, two, three, four, five instances of it. Now we've got six total brackets and then we can click this arrange button. Now we've got six brackets. So however many you need in three hours and 45 minutes for a dollar and 11 cents, we could have these six brackets printed. So I'm just going to print one. So I can control click all the ones I don't want, delete them, arrange this one, slice now, and then I'm going to export it to my SD card and print it. So we'll see you on the other side. Alrighty, so hopefully you also have your bracket printed and you learned something from this. Uh, I'm going to make a bunch of these real beginner tutorials if you guys like them. So I'll see you next time. Happy designing. Peace.